how many votes have already been counted. We've already had over 1.1 million votes uh, counted and recorded here in Maricopa County in the 2022 general election. We have about 400 to 410,000 more to be counted. Veterans Day is tomorrow. That's a holiday here, but we will be working Friday. We will be working Saturday, and we will be working Sunday to move through these ballots so that we can get through the 400,000 to 410,000 that we're still working on. Uh, we, we have counted all the votes for people who actually showed up on Election Day and put a ballot into the tabulator. We have about 17,000 left from Election Day. These were the ones that were not read by the tabulator and were put into door three. We're starting. Those people who are demanding that we work, that, that we move faster with the count, I want to be very clear about the work that's already being done by the permanent staff here at Maricopa County Elections. They are already working 14 to 18 hours a day. They are making a great commitment. They knew what they were getting into, but there's a plan that we've already put in place, and that involves them working that many hours in a day. We can't go any further than that. We are doing what we can and still maintaining accuracy. So we are absolutely not slow rolling it. And also, if their team would have been paying attention before this election, they would have heard us talk about this over and over again, that we were not going to have results on election night. Uh, or even the next day, that it was going to take several days. And quite frankly, it is offensive for Carrie Lake to say that these people behind me are slow rolling this when they're working 14 to 18 hours. So I really hope this is the end of that now. We can be patient and respect the results when they come out. Right. It's not like we can ask for their names. It's kind of anonymous election workers. And those threats have uh, gone to the Board of Supervisors, uh, and that threat level is continuing, and that is that is now a part of life for me and my colleagues. And it shouldn't be, and it shouldn't be for all the elections workers and election officials across the country, but that's now a way of life. And more people need to start speaking out and saying that that is absolutely unacceptable.